Hello and welcome again to my channel. Today we're speaking guilt trips. And let me say from the start, if anybody even pays me for a guilt trip with all expenses paid, I ain't going. The moment we accept to go on that guilt trip, we accept blame. Even if I'm to blame, the way I will handle that is my responsibility, not for somebody else to manipulate me. Because once it starts, they will continue to manipulate you and get out of you what they want. So if you are to blame, take the responsibility and handle it your own way. Quite often, people like to shift the blame on somebody else, choosing the weaker person. And once that emotional blackmail starts, it doesn't stop. Once somebody has tried to shift the blame on you, check your situation, whether you were even part of the problem, and if not, stay clear and ignore. Do not even try to justify anything because there's nothing for you to justify. Quite often, when we do that, when we start trying to analyze the situation, we get ourselves into trouble by uh, even exposing things that we didn't want to expose. If you were present and you're not responsible for anything, brush it off. It is quite often that the person who's trying to blame you might want to take out of you the ability to blame somebody else. While you are trying to clear yourself, you might implicate somebody else. Don't do that. Let the situation resolve along natural causes. The truth will come out inevitably. And the person who's trying to manipulate you might be the one who is trying to isolate you, who is trying to put you in a bad light, and is probably also bad mouthing you elsewhere. We do have those people who live to make others unhappy. If somebody is trying to drag you through the mud, they have to be in the mud first to drag you. So don't play along. They will expose themselves. Be as calm as possible. Say as little as possible. I know we often try to justify ourselves. And I'm also one of those whose mouth will run and run until the thing is sorted out. But it is not the best thing to do. I've learned to ignore. I've learned to sidestep. And I've learned to simply avoid the type of people who try to get you into a bad light with others. And I'm happy. When you are confronted with a situation like this, take stock of yourself. The situation might bother you a lot, but don't let it go out in the open. Sit by yourself, maybe speak to a confidant and try and get some advice about how to resolve a situation if it's very serious. But do not engage at the level of those who want to smear you with mud. It is quite often a matter of jealousy. Sometimes you know stuff about them that they don't want the world to know. And before you can say anything, they want everybody to think that you are such a bad person that when you open your mouth, you are going to lie. By trying to blame others, they are actually showing who and what they are. So take it easy, relax, and just learn to think that Everything that has been done and said has been recorded up there in our books of deeds. And nothing that anybody else says or does can change that. So do not stress about it too much. Whatever anybody else thinks in this world, I know it bothers us sometimes. But we grow beyond it. And like I said in some of my videos, coin your identity and be strong enough to know that being yourself is enough and that you don't have to justify anything to anybody. Don't let outsiders direct your life. Don't sacrifice yourself. It is really not worth it. Quite often we feel sorry, we feel that we did have a hand in whatever situation and we try to take all the blame. That will stick and people might remember it that you have accepted guilt that you have accepted responsibility for things. So be careful 
on what you load on yourself and the way you load it. We can try to resolve something, something without blaming, without naming, without shaming. It is possible. And for that, we often need uh, intervention from outside. We need in mediators, etc. Let that rather happen. Rather than you as a person putting yourself at stake and then for the rest of your life paying for it. And thank you for watching this video. And hopefully none of you will fall into the traps that other people set for them. Be safe.